All right, guys, welcome back to the Regal Gentleman YouTube channel at the Regal Gentleman Studio. Today, we've got Callum in the chair. How are you, mate? Yeah. You good? Are you good? All right, man. So, what's the plan? What do you want to do? I think just tame, tame it, really. Okay. Um, I want to keep the length from growing it again. Okay. Um, but I think tidy up the sides because they're a bit messy. And yeah, just uh, the hair is quite thick. So, whatever yeah. you need to do to get it to sort of lay flatter. Okay, yeah, I can try, yeah, for sure. Um, I'm, yeah, I mean, can I just point something out? Your hair is unreal, man. Like, it's it's incredible. I don't know if anyone can see. Can I don't think the camera's going to justify how nice your hair is, mate. It's, it's amazing, it really is. It's the kind of hair I'd like, because you can get wave in it, you can curl it, you can straighten it, do whatever you want. Um, what is your end goal? Where are we going with this? I think just to be able to comfortably put it back and have, have to keep the length in. I yeah. don't want it down here again. I just sort of want to keep it, maintain it at a, a longish length to be able to sort of. Right, okay. Back. So you've had long hair. You've had yeah. your hair quite long, yeah. Okay, all right. And you're not looking to get down to like shoulder length or nothing? No. No, no, no. All right, cool. So just like, do you want to make this haircut look as though you haven't grown it out, as though it's meant to be cut like this? If that makes yeah, sense. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah. make it look as though it's a natural haircut, not just a grown yeah. out haircut. Yeah. All right, cool, man. Um, Couple of things we need to sort of just, just I'm just going to point out to you at the minute that I've noticed is that at the minute, the top of the hair is quite short mm -hmm. compared to how everyone else is. It looks as though it's being kind of um, maybe cut. I, mean, I don't know how to how to explain this, but basically it looks as though there's there's a lot of layers cut into this, which I don't think are the layers that you really need. All right, what I mean by that is that it looks very short here, it looks very long down the bottom, and it looks as though it's got gradually shorter at the top mm -hmm. and getting gradually longer down the bottom, which doesn't necessarily work for what you're trying to do, yeah. all right? But it's not like, look, it's not the end of the world at all. It just means that it's, we just have to alter it slightly mm. just to be able to keep growing it out so that yeah. it grows out in a nice, a nice way for you. Um, what I mean by that is you can probably see, I'm just gonna turn this camera one second, Callum, you'll be able to see this on the video, but um, if you just have a look on the camera, see how short that bit is there? And then we get all of this weight, especially through this middle bit here. So I don't know whether this has all been picked up or something, I'm not too sure how this has been, cut or where the guides have come from from the last haircut, but it's not an issue because all we need to do is just, again, we're trying to keep as much length as possible. We just need to tame it and can control it basically. So what, first things first is, I think we just have to take the neckline up a little bit because I think at the moment it's a bit unbalanced, all right? For you to see yourself, I just want you to hold this mirror. And it's a good thing for anyone at home watching this as well, um, or wherever you're watching it from. It's not like, it like I was on like TV then, didn't I? Anyone at home? Um, but what, what I mean is, if you can lift that up, right, so you can see yourself through that mirror into yeah. that mirror, yeah? yeah? So can you see at the minute that, compared to the sides and these little short bits at the top here, yeah, that's really bulky and mm. thick and long. But because of how low down your neckline is, you see it's quite low, <laughs> we can get away with taking that shorter and it will still look long, if yeah. that makes sense, because everywhere else will stay, stay the same length. Yeah, so what that will do will help you manage it, it'll help you control it better. Mm -hmm. It'll just help you style it better. It'll give you a bit more manageability to it as well, all right? Yeah. Um, but I think, again, let's try and keep as much length as possible. Let's mm -hmm. let's thin the top out so that it sits flatter, but we don't lose length, yeah. all right? I think that's the main thing, right? So I'll do that with a razor. Yeah. Best thing to do, use a razor, create some collapse in there, and it'll help to thin it out, put shape in it, yeah. and everything else. All right, man? Sticking out. Yeah, yeah, exactly, that's it. So yeah, L not, not a lot to do, but believe it or not, it's there is a lot to do for me, but it won't look like there's been a lot done. All right, come on. All right, well, um, let's get you gowned up and we'll get started. All right, come on. Right, guys, so I'm going to start off by separating the top out to the back and sides again. I've been using the horseshoe section quite a lot lately, but I think the way the trend's going at the moment, with a lot of people growing their hair out and a lot of people kind of having long to short. So we're going through a bit of a weird one at the moment where they're having guys coming in with like really long hair who want to take it back to like maybe a medium length. Kind of, I'm guessing what you got. I know you went down to skin, you just told me, didn't you? Mm -hmm. So imagine what your hair was down here, you said, yeah? Mm -hmm. We get a lot of guys coming back to what your length is now, okay? So obviously that I have to separate the back and sides to the top for that. Or I'm getting a lot of guys going from this length to shorter, which then I have to do the same thing again. So it's quite interesting when you compare it back to, say, if you look at some of our pre-sort of COVID videos, I, I was probably 50-50 on the horseshoe and other ways to start the haircut. Whereas lately, I think I've just been doing a horseshoe section lately. But um, yeah, it, you know, I, I know it might seem like it's just a, it's just the one section that we do, but it's it is for me personally the the most important section to do. Um, love it or hate it, it works. You know, I think that's the that's the way it goes, right? It can it, it doesn't you know some people like it, some people don't. There are other ways to do it. Again, this job is you know it's 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 down to personal preference half the time. So I just do what what makes my life a bit easier, which is this. So. 
I'm not having to worry at the moment about uh, Callum's crown or anything at all. All I'm worried about is how, how we keep and balance out this haircut. The crown doesn't matter. You can see from when he came in from the before video that, you know, his, his hair is falling back on the top and then you just want that to sit flat at the back. And it is going to work. So we don't need to worry about that. All we need to do is make sure that we, we hit this, uh, this back bit here in the horseshoe at the right point, which again is just on the flat of the head, the round at the back here. We just follow it all the way around. So all that does, it just keeps in the shape at the back of the head. And don't forget, we're not taking, we're not taking any length off. Um, all we're taking off is the is the uh, the the nape. Now I was just saying to to Cal then as I was um, as I was just sort of working through the hair and getting it nice and wet was um, was that this haircut doesn't seem to to the client probably to Cal it might it might seem really nice obviously it'd be a lot easier to style and things but it doesn't seem like there's a lot of work to do because at the end result you won't see a lot and I'm sure there's videos that we've done you know I can't think of any at the top of my head now but. We've done a lot of videos where the before and after just looks a bit more styled. It doesn't mean we haven't done a lot to the haircut. It'd be great to see you come back in six months mm. and see how this haircut's grown out. Because again, it's about the balance. It's all about balancing this haircut from what we've got now to what will look like when it gets to, you know, however long you want to grow it for. Mm. Um, and again, just like a, what we call like a maintenance cut in a sense. Maintenance doesn't mean chop the bottom off and you're done. There's so much more to that. You know, we are essentially only removing length, as in like the overall length off the bottom, but we're still removing length up through the haircut to help this sit better for you and style better. And again, I want this to look for you as though this haircut has been cut in more than it, you know, like, like I said at the start, more than it looking as though it's grown out from a haircut. You know what I mean? That's, that's what we want to do. So again, don't, don't, don't be misled by not much coming off or anything like that. It's, it's still going to, it's going to change a bit, hopefully a bit more manageable. That's the main thing, but... Um, just in case you don't see a lot coming off, all right? I think I said to you before, it doesn't look like a lot's come happen to you, but there's an awful lot of work I have to do. You know what I mean? I think that's kind of what it is, you know? Now, just because, as you can see that length at the top there, it's quite short through the crown. So again, it's good that we are sectioning this off so we can see exactly what's going on. But we'll stick that like that, all right? So Callum needs to leave his hair on the sides for it to be swept back. And as you can see now, it is sweeping back, okay? That is sitting back. Obviously, we can sort out this bit and everything like that. That will tidy it up instantly. But that is sitting nice. As you can see, it's just very thick. You see when you push on it, it's got a lot of thickness to it, right? So we, I still need to thin it out, but I don't want to thin it out on this traditional method of either slide cutting through it or getting my thinnesses out and cutting through it. Because again, that's just cutting short hair, but we don't need it to be, or we don't want it to be. What I want to do is create a bit of texture in there and a little bit of shape as well. So that we're still working with that kind of square shape that, that I always work with, but also that it starts to lie a bit flatter as well. So in this particular um, cut, I'm gonna do palm to palm, but I'm gonna do a very, very wide section and over direct everything into the middle. So I'll show you now what I'm gonna do. So I will use a three finger um, section. Okay, that's how I work it out now. So break it down more than trying to guess or using teeth on the comb. Let's break it, bring it back to basics. So let's bring it back to basics, okay? And you know, this is a kind of a, a little bit of a taster as well. If you are, if you have bought our education or you're thinking about starting barbering or, or wanting to learn a bit more in depth of how um, the techniques that I use, um, this is how we talk in our education, okay? More than saying like kind of visually, this is how, how wide it is. To a lot of viewers, a lot of barber viewers and hairdressers and people who, who watch it as well, you tend to know what I'm talking about, but any novice, any real beginner doesn't really know. So we just use our fingers, so three fingers, okay? From this part here, the recession, that line that goes straight down from the recession point to the sideburns, three fingers. We've done a video previously where we use one finger when we go nice and short, two fingers if we're keeping some, like a longer length, and three fingers or even four fingers if we are keeping a lot more length. So four fingers will be over directing it back past the ear when we're doing a lot of longer length, Three fingers is when we're trying to keep some length in there, but break it up, okay? Put down, like so. Let me pull everything into the middle, okay? What do is look, find where the middle is, okay? So the middle is where our middle finger is, isn't it? If you look at that, that's the middle that we need to pull this section out to, okay? My finger over, so I'm bringing my finger down, bringing it over. And that's where we need to bring it to. So just keep that gaze of where you want that to go to. Bring it right out. We're just going to tie it up. Just take a little bit of length off. 
just about that much length, okay? Now, all I'm gonna do is just put out to a length that I want to break it up. I don't wanna take loads of length off, because if I take it down here, then obviously we're taking a lot of length off. But I, I want this to be unnoticeable, but create more manageability. So just taking a little bit off, that'll just take the center section shorter and keep the length either side. Pull that. Right straight down. So we've done, we took the section shorter in the middle, get either side long. All that will do is because it's a little bit shorter, it will just sit it a bit flatter today because there's a little bit of length off. Just a little bit, but it will also create a little bit of movement in there as well. So all we need to do for that side section there. Just here, three fingers. So where my third finger is, my ring finger, bring that down. And just take a section from the previous one. Pull it in to the middle. And there's a guide that I'm going to use there. Pull that straight out. All that will do is because it's a bit shorter, it'll help it sit a bit flatter for them and create a bit more shape in there as well. All right? If you look at it when you pull it out, it's just a little bit more movement going on than it just being a long length all the way through. Okay? But you, it's unnoticeable. So especially to Callum. So as it is, because we're seeing what's going on, we're seeing length come off. Callum is seeing a little bit of length come off, but he's not He's not overly kind of worried that's going to be loads of length off. We're switching to two fingers. So just after the ear, the section just after the ear, so after the, say like if you look at that, three, three, you have two threes, and I'm going to move on to two to the other side as well, so mirror the other side, okay? The reason we're going to two, two fingers now is because we're taking length off the back, okay? So by obviously using three set, three fingers, we're taking less length off because the sections are wider. So we're moving on to two fingers now, which is gonna take a bit more length off, but it's still gonna keep a lot of length in there as well. So we're gonna follow our guide from our section from before. There we go. And don't forget, I'm still bringing this right into the middle of the section, okay? Pull it down. by the way. And straight out. I'm working right down to the nape. This is quite interesting to see now. So look at the length on this side. Look at the length on that side. Okay. We lift up a second for me, Colin. It's exactly the same length, right? Even though we've cut that bit. So that's the three fingers, okay? But then, look at the back. Look at the way that's sitting now, okay? Compared to the back of there. So by switching up the width of the section, we've removed more length, but there's a better shape in there, even though it's still the same length on the sides. So that's what I was saying about maybe it might not look like we're taking much off, but the difference we're creating is massive, especially for what Callum's trying to do. Callum's trying to grow his hair out, okay? I just went over, back over that section then. Just because the angle I was at, I was trying to let Liam get a good shot, but I felt like I was kind of off balance a bit. So I just went back to make sure that I was I was doing it correctly. Just in case you see me going back over at them. Things you do to get a good uh, a good angle, eh, Liam? By the way, this isn't just me laughing every time I tell a joke. Liam does laugh behind the camera. You do. Don't act like you don't. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Pull it out. There's a guide. Straight out. So this is the final section at the back that we're using our two fingers as our section width, okay? After that, it goes to three and three, okay? So two fingers from the previous section, come that over, pull that in, there's our guide. You see, I'm always pulling it in from the right-hand side. There's not a lot of education for left-handers out there, so the best thing I'd say to you is just flip what I'm doing, okay? Because that's essentially what you're going to do anyway. 
So when I start on the right hand side, you start on the left hand side, okay? Anything like that, just, just basically mirror what I'm doing on the other side. It's the best bit of advice I can give you. Nothing changes, it's just the hand you're cutting with. Now, three fingers, watch this. So from that section, there's three, and there's three. So, three fingers now. From that section, it's just there. Come right into the middle now. As you see, look, if you look from the top layer, see everything's being pulled into the middle. You see that? Pull that out. It's good. Again, do not worry if more hair comes off. Don't forget, we're following a guide, okay? Do not be worried about that. Scoop that into the middle. One final scoop from the right hand side is our guide. There we go. Now, that's as much length or as thin and out or a section that we need to do on the back and sides for now. What we need to do now is sort the neckline out, okay? But as you can see, it's exactly the same length. That's why our mirror is really good to use. Hold your fingers and you can see it's exactly the same length. Mm -hmm. Best way to check that out is pulling it from the temple and pulling it down. There we go. Sits in perfectly there. Now, working on the nape. You want to take this up and don't forget, Callum's neckline is very low, okay? So we can get away with going shorter and it'll still balance. So just combing it all out onto the neck collar like this, just making sure we get all the neck hair on there as well. And now, what do I want to do? I think I want to balance it up. I'll probably do about the, the collar length, I think. So I think as that falls back in, that'll still sit quite nice. Still fall around his ear. That sits in there, I think that'll fall quite nicely. And then that way he's got a lot of time to grow it out everywhere else to catch up, and it'll still be balanced. It goes close to the neckline as possible. So there's a little bit of length in there, so. Pull that straight down, straight over the middle finger. Middle finger and index finger sitting flat. Head slightly down so it gets all that little neck hair underneath there as well. Pull it in and then I'm going to cut straight. Pull that down. So I'm keeping some length through the back here. We will just freehand that in a minute, just working through like that. But essentially this back bit here is the bit we need to worry about. Now, when I move on to my razor, I'm just going to freehand little bits just to make them sit a bit softer. Just picking up sections just to break up the neckline so it looks really nice, nice and natural. So it's just sort of out, overgrown but with some shape in there as well. What I want to do now is just help to thin out the hair again a little bit more, add a bit of direction as well. So when we start on the right hand side, pick up a fairly wide section, like so, halfway through the sides, and just force a little bit of direction here. So just very, very lightly, I'm just gonna work a few sections, just from, up, just under halfway to my finger. Just like that, as you can see, not a lot comes off. I'll show you the hair that comes off. Not a lot of hair comes off, right? But that'll just help to give a little bit of movement and a little bit of direction because I'm raising it back in the direction we want this to go, okay? Probably about two fingers in width, horizontally. I'm still bringing it this way. So we're going to work down now into the back. Same thing again. Going to mix up the pattern now. I'm going to go from left to right. I went from right to left before go from left to right, just so it creates a bit of a zigzag, which will allow movement at the back. Just on the very, very bottom, just from over here to where my fingers are, flat with the razor, just to take away that thickness at the very bottom. Just take away that thickness. As you can see now, look at, the, look at that side, how nice that's sitting. Very natural, very nice. It's got shape. And that doesn't look like he's just grown it out. Off with two fingers across, pick it up, pull it out. Miss out the first, miss out the temple, the first section. And going from left to right, so we're aiming this back. Same thing again. Just from under halfway. 
final section at the bottom straight on with the razor flat just taking a little bit off gonna mix this up pull out a little bit further like that just as it falls into the middle it meets nicely it's got the same kind of direction patterns going through it in front up because it's much thicker at the back get away with going a little bit extra heavier at the the razor on this little bit here he's out flat that will sit now very proud and then that will sit really flat okay but then you've got the shape at the back that now looks a bit more balanced okay mm. see that yeah cool. while we're here we'll do the side bends okay we'll just we'll just shorten these down a little bit for you so taking it from where the temple comes into the side burn, just on the same shape, it's usually a diagonal. We just separate the hair to the side burn, okay? Now I'll just trim it down a little bit, okay? Just because obviously you've still got a beard, so I don't want to take too much off, I want to blend in. So a little bit of scissor over comb for this one. Take away the curls, just comb the hair over. Don't cut it too close to the hairline, because you're still going to comb it down. And then we can cut it around to the top of the ear. And then just run the scissor over it to cap off them curls. So you trim the beard. There we go. Same on the other side now. Switching up combs because I'm doing scissor over comb. curls on this side so this will be need a bit more taming not a problem though right so top now what we're going to do is make sure it balances, which I'm sure it will, because we've took no length off the sides. Just make sure the crown sits in there as well, nicely as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, main thing we need to do this is thin it out for without taking loads of length off. All right, go away horizontally on the sides. And we'll work diagonally, okay? So we'll go from the recession point straight over to where the crown is. Because I want to take this crown down a touch at the back, just because it's hanging over a little bit too much for me. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pull this out by working diagonally, means we're gonna leave more length at the front and take a bit more length off to connect at the back. So, bringing it out, following the guideline, gonna connect this in. The crown. So that maintains all the length at the front and then just connects it in to the back out from the recession point. We're doing really wide sections. Again, think about it. Wide section because we're keeping a lot of length. Right out, cross the top of the head like so. Or section. See, not a lot's gonna come off. Put it up this way, nothing will come off. Or maybe the tiniest bit like that, that tiny bit there. There we go, as we get to this side, nothing comes off on the left hand side. We're just taking away that bulk that sits at the round of the head. We follow our part, our section corresponds with the section pattern as well. Go all off this side here. So guide underneath. This could be from the previous haircut, but it doesn't matter. So we're following our guide, okay? There we go. Pull it out, so nothing comes off our hairline, just underneath. See, pull it out, nothing comes off there. Underneath. And see where the cutting section is as well. That'll sit nice and flat around the round of the head. Works a treat for anyone with hair this thick. Now, as we finish that last section, we take a section across just before the apex. The apex is here, just before the apex. 
when you pull it straight out, okay? Like so. Up and out, showing me the center that comes off, like a little point. Tiniest little bit now. So what we've got is a connection through the back. Everything's starting to balance out now. I'm keeping all that length on the top. So that's all we need to do. Nothing else now, because that, that bit isn't going to reach anywhere. Okay, that's the original length that he came in with. All we need to do now is just thin it out a little bit. I'm going to cause some collapse into this now. So working straight through the back. There's a lot of diagonal work. Working straight through, horizontally through the top. Pull this back. I'm going to take this section from just above halfway and start just above the root. So maybe like two fingers above the root. I'm going to slide all the way in. Like that. Now that looks really short because it is really short. But as that heavier hair sits on top of that, that will flatten it down and make it sit much flatter. Pull it across. And that's sitting much flatter straight away. Okay, because all the heaviness of the longer hair sits on top of the shorter. And by the time that gets some length in it, as you'd normally get a root lift on a haircut like that, you won't on this because the weight of Callum's hair, it's not going to stand up whatsoever. A bit of water in that sitting a lot flatter than when you came in. All right. There we go. So how's that end talking for you? you? Happy with the length? Yeah. Is it working for you in terms of what we've done? Yeah. Mm. Cool, man. Cool. Just break up that little bit there. A little bit of freehand down the bottom. Now it's starting to dry out. How do you normally dry this off? Do you tend to let it dry naturally, or do you tend to yeah, naturally. Yeah, do you? All right. Well, let me put the diffuser on, just dry it naturally mm -hmm. for you again, okay? Um, I'm going to put on a little bit of grooming cream. I'm definitely not putting thickening tonic on. I can show you that one. So a little bit of grooming cream. Should we record that again? <laughs> <laughs> right, so, do that again. Pretend you, I have you on. A little bit of grooming cream. About that much, so probably what, oh, what would you say that would be about maybe a UK 10p size or something like that, right? So maybe, I don't know what that would be in whatever currency it is, but kind of roughly, I don't know, can't even think of the size of, of anything that could be that size. A grape, there we go, a grape, okay? So weight this through the hair. Start off from the front, into the sides, and then go on from the back into the top. Again, don't forget, we're not styling the hair right now, we're just dressing out the hair. We're just rubbing product in to get ready to start the styling process, okay? Because I don't want you to spend too much time on this at all, if anything. I mean, like you just said, then you don't you don't dry it off, you just let it air dry, perfect. Best thing you can do when you're growing your hair, stay away from as much heat as you possibly can, okay? And I'm just using a paddle brush, and this will smooth it off, flatten it down a bit more for you. Just bring it around like that, okay? Now, I know that is not probably how you wear it, but just for the point of drying it, this will help, okay? You just comb it all the way back. Now, diffuser on. Lower speed setting, and I'd say the highest heat as well. So if you've got that at home, you can pick these up on Amazon, these uh, diffusers, universal ones. They fit on any hairdryer. We just start to dry it in. It can take a while, but it'll be quicker than letting it dry naturally, okay? And this will make it look like we haven't styled it, okay? And then we're drying it, we're drying it into a nice shape sitting back. I'm just shaking my hands left and right as I'm working it through. So it falls natural, okay? Right, I wouldn't dry it any more than that at home, okay? So that is just right before it's dry. It's just a tiny bit damp, okay? Tiny, tiny bit. Only because the bit of heat as well, if you're not, if you're not gonna dry it like with the brush completely flat, a little bit of heat will swell the hair and it'll kind of make it go bigger. We still want this to have the element of flatness, mm. but also like you haven't done much to it as well. So if you wouldn't mind just shaking your head left and right for me a little bit, just quite vigorously, that's it. There we go, perfect. And then, just run my fingers through my hair like that. So that sits back now for you. Can you see how much more tamed it looks now? Again, like we said, there wasn't an awful lot that we needed to do. 
just enough that it looks a bit more tamed. I'm just going to take a tiny bit more off the back here. Yeah. Only a tiny, tiny bit. Head down for me a second. Yeah, it's just a simple bit of freehand this as well, okay? Don't need to resection it because it's all cut in. This is just my personal preference. I just think it looks a tiny, tiny bit long. Head up for me straight on now. That's great. Just lifting his head up just to make sure the top layers sit level as well. Now I'm not getting rid of the neck here because you can't see it and it's just more upkeep for Callum at the moment which he doesn't need, he's growing his hair out, that's hard enough. So I'm trying to stay away from giving him any more work to do which would be shaving up the back of his neck which you can always make a mistake with or someone could do it for you, partner, friend, whatever. Yeah, exactly, yeah, we've all been there, yeah, exactly. I've been there myself, mate. Get a rash, you know, if it isn't done properly, you know, things like that. So. Here we go. But I don't think you need anything else on it. I don't think you need anything else. Grooming creams, drying him, keep it as natural as possible. And that's it. That is you now for the foreseeable. Six months, maybe three months, depending on how you want to come in. But that's it. Now, while the gown's off yet, I want you to have a look at the same again. Okay, so have a little look at that for me. I'm going to spin you around again. Just do the same things we did before. Just look at yourself in that mirror to see yourself in the, the big mirror behind. So you can see the balance now, the middle's a little bit shorter, you've got a little bit of shape in there, it actually looks like you've got that haircut cut in now. Mm. Sideburns are tidied up, you know what I mean? You see it's not, it doesn't look as short on the top now compared to everywhere else, or it looks a bit more balanced. That's all I was trying to do. Looks nice to me, this side as well. So well, I think it was down to about here when you came in. Yeah. On the bottom, so we took a bit off but we've left. All that went through, we've just, we've just cut it and balanced it all in. Smart, it? <laughs> does done it, yeah. It really does done it, mate, yeah. Happy with it, yeah? Yeah, yeah, good, yeah. Thanks, man, thanks. Yeah. Cheers, buddy. Here we go. And that is you done, mate. Good luck growing it, man. You've done it before, you can do it again. Yeah. All right, man. Thank you very much, buddy. Yeah.